Welcome to IHME's Financing Global Health 2019 report and its accompanying data visualization. We hope you will explore and use both resources to better understand this critical topic. All aspects of global health exist at least now and into the immediate future in the shadow of the global COVID-19 pandemic. Not only has it strained health systems on every continent, but it has caused economic contractions that may have severe consequences for how countries finance their own health needs and the support they provide to others as Development Assistance for Health, or DAH. In 2019, Development Assistance for Health totaled almost 40 billion US dollars. Critical health financing issues in the months and years to come will include pandemic preparedness, which in 2019 made up less than 1% of overall Development Assistance for Health. While more than three billion US dollars was contributed towards immunization programs in 2019, vaccines, and in particular, the prospect of an effective COVID-19 vaccine will be another key issue moving forward. Potential conflicts between countries seeking to take care of their own populations must be secondary to the provision of equitable and affordable vaccination to the most vulnerable people globally. While these topics are reflected in our financing global health reports, the 2019 edition includes many important and new features. We examine health spending through the frame of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3, which aims to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. We examine total health spending and development assistance for health and present updated estimates for HIV, AIDS and malaria spending. In addition, this year, for the first time, we've added estimates for spending on tuberculosis, a curable disease that continues to cause significant global burden. The report also includes projections of health spending from 2018 to 2050, as well as, for the first time, profiles of funding sources of development assistance for health and an analysis of key health focus areas. And while we assume historical spending patterns and relationships will persist, we have added scenarios in the event that governments raise or lower their commitments, with a latter a particular concern in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Starving of such pandemics requires robust public health systems, which in turn require robust public financing. In the absence of adequate government spending, donor support and therefore global cooperation is key. We hope that financing Global Health 2019 will help policymakers and decision makers better understand and answer the complex questions ahead of them.